on all y'all tech me out here and i am happy to say today i have partnered with best buy to present with you what i am dubbing as the ultimate holiday tech gift guide because what i've done with this list is basically shocked with intent to compile some gift recommendations for all of you out there shopping for your loved ones this holiday season to hopefully eliminate some stress Now, not only is this list designed to hopefully help eliminate some stress for you, but also might spark some inspiration for gift ideas that helps you buy impactful tech gifts that provides joy, use, and value to someone special versus, you know, a quick last minute generalized grab. No read there, sorry. <laughs> because I've kind of handpicked items with everyone in mind, dare I say. <laughs> so I'm really excited to share with you what I have. And also, of course, big thank you to Best Buy for sponsoring this one. Everything I mentioned will be linked down below in the description box, but got my list here. Let's go check them out. Now, I've always wanted to try one of these. So, okay, maybe I had myself in mind with this secretly, <laughs> but I also had coffee lovers in mind. So if you're shopping for anyone that loves a good coffee, you're definitely gonna wanna check out this Nespresso. Now, my experience has predominantly been with Keurigs, um, which are also sold at Best Buy, but I had not yet experienced an Nespresso till now, and let me tell you, this lives up to the hype. First things first, I was amazed at how small it is, so especially if you're shopping for someone that has a small kitchen, or maybe not a lot of space to play with, for a coffee maker, this makes this even more ideal. But it does offer a lot, as it can make an espresso macchiato, a cappuccino or a latte macchiato, which is music to my ears and hopefully for your loved ones that you're shopping for. Now, I love that it is so simple to use, which makes it even more of an item for me because it pretty much has like one touch operation. You'll also notice along the back, it has a removable water tank and a place where it catches and stores your used Nespresso pods so you can dump them all at once instead of individually. I've never known a coffee maker to do that. It also has a milk jug and what appears to be the milk frother up here. And if you're worried about getting them started with their coffee pods, thankfully it does come with a little starter pack here. So you have the option, plenty of options actually, within here and some descriptions up here about them. But if you need a little more information, we also have this manual here, which they did a very nice job of laying out information so that you can see which ones are fruity, balanced and flavored, and even the limited editions. Plus on top of that, it has a $10 off coupon. So when they do get to the point that they want to shop and buy their own, they got a gift and a gift, a little discount. But to kind of build off of that and piggyback a little bit, if you have not only coffee lovers, but tea lovers or somebody that oftentimes needs a drink warm, then you're gonna wanna look at the Ember mug for them. So this is super cool, y'all. Like this is the most high-tech coffee mug I've seen. But ultimately how it works is along the front here, when you tap the word Ember, it tells you the temperature of the liquid inside or another way in which you can set the precise drinking temperature for your hot beverages is to use the companion app on your phone. On top of that, it'll even let you know your coffee consumption. You can save presets for your favorite drinks in addition to a few other tricks. But like I said, you can also adjust here from the mug so you don't have to just solely rely on your phone to do so. Now the Ember will keep your drinks warm for about three hours, so your drink stays nice and warm wherever you are. And if your beverage is too hot to drink, it'll let you know and also let you know when the mug needs to be charged. Which might I say, this charging coaster that comes with it is a very nice touch. So as you can see, it's juicing up here. You sip from the sides here and it has a push button so that like right now, liquid comes out, but if I tap it again, it keeps it in. <laughs> the simple joys. So I can come here and get it to warm it up. Right now there's just water in here, but I could get the water warm to 129 degrees if I wanted. Like, ugh, this is nice. Now, if you have any food lovers in your life, I highly 
recommend and suggest you check out this Ninja Air Fryer. The cool and unique thing about this particular model is that it offers you two four quarts trays or what do you call these things? Bins, <laughs> buckets, two of these. So it gives you a total of eight. But the nice thing though, is that you can cook two different foods at the same time. So yes, you heard me correctly. They can cook two different foods, two different ways and have them finish at the same time. So visually, like an example of what you can probably fit in this little basket here is about four pounds of fries or wings. Now I love this because it eliminates having to cook foods back to back and all of that. Instead, you just cook them together. Now the cooking baskets, they are non-stick and dishwasher safe, so your loved ones can air fry, air broil, roast, bake, reheat, or dehydrate their foods to their heart's content. And might I say, this particular gift item to me is definitely one of those that's like a chef's kiss. So this next gift, I basically had gamers in mind or those that are looking to upgrade their desk setup or add a spark of light, if you will, to their TV setup. Because what I have behind me is the Philips Hue Play. It's basically like a lamp in essence or a smart light where you can adjust the color as well as the intensity of the light and even set it on a schedule so that it comes on and off at a certain time. It's nice if you wanna add like a touch of color anywhere. And honestly, doing so can really impact the mood in a room as well as the setup in general. So don't sleep on it. Plus it also has the option to sync with your TV or your gaming setup so that it color matches with what's on your screen. Now when it comes to controlling the lights, that can be done with the Hue app on your iOS or Android device or with the use of your voice through a smart assistant like Google or Siri. But yeah, it's just to me a really nice, cool way to upgrade a setup or for other content creators out there that you know need to add some color to their shot. Now this little item right here has to probably be one of my favorite of all time. And it is the Roku streaming stick, which is the perfect gift in my opinion for any TV enthusiast that doesn't have a smart TV. So all you have to do is just plug it in and you'll get instant access to some of your favorite streaming apps like Disney Plus, Prime Video, HBO Max, Apple TV Plus, Netflix, and a ton more. Now, for me, the Roku streaming stick stands out amongst the rest because, I don't know, it seems to offer the most apps, at least the ones that I use. Like in particular, DStream, that is a TV streaming application that I just couldn't find on some others that was up here. So it's one a little special place in my heart. The Roku is probably like my favorite streaming stick out of all of them or one of my faves. But as you can see, the interface is super clean. So especially if you're shopping for someone that might not be as tech savvy or might be a little bit older and need something that's simple, this is it because it just gives them what they need without trying to offer them a bunch of everything else. You even have the option to use voice search or you can download the Roku app on your phone, which is really nice, especially if you're shopping for someone that's always losing the remote. You can even mirror things from your phone to the Roku with the option to stream in 4K. And it's not badly priced either. A Polaroid lab printer. That's so cute. But ultimately what this is, is a mobile printer for your photos on the go. Great for all of my mobile photographers, or if you're shopping for someone that enjoys, you know, capturing pictures, but never does anything with them, this is it. And let's also acknowledge the fact that this gives me a little bit of nostalgia. It reminds me of a time where we used to get photos printed. Now we just capture them in our phone and sometimes it's just where they live. I know I hardly print mine like that, but something like this can definitely change that. So the first step you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you head into your settings and turn off True Tone and also Night Shift. Then we're gonna pop back into the application. I'm gonna keep it on single, then I'm gonna select choose photo and allow access to all photos. Let's see, which photo of us do I wanna print? That one's kinda cute, even though I'm tucked away in the back. And you can resize it to get it into position. So I'm gonna do it like this. Then we're gonna select next. So I need to select my type of film. This is the 600 film, so I'm gonna hit select. Then I'm gonna hit the arrow here and now we're ready. And I love how it's walking me through here. So what we're gonna wanna do is press the black button 
on the side to turn on your Polaroid Lab, place your phone screen down, and wait until the rainbow lights up. This means your phone is straight and the lab is ready to expose your photo. And we'll notice that it pops up and we're going to place this face down like it said. And that's letting me know, ooh, even with an audio chime, that's letting me know that this is straight. Then we have this red button, so we just press that and it should print the photo. I really hope I did this right. So I'm gonna roll the film up here. Wow, nice, it snaps back in. Pull the photo out and face it down. It takes about 15 minutes to expose, so we're gonna close this up, save the battery, which it does charge here through micro, U micro, through micro USB. So we're gonna let it do its thing here, set a timer and check back. All right, y'all, so that is the last of the items. I do hope this kind of helped you get some ideas going and make sure that you're shopping with intention when you're shopping for your loved ones. You know, like, let's get a gift that they're gonna use. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. If you wanna stay updated on when another video is dropping, feel free to follow me on Instagram at techmeout, T-E-C-H-M-E-0-U-T. And let me know which gift was your favorite. Like, what would you want for yourself? Drop it down. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.